What's happening, Oka? I'm Logan. And I'm Scott. And today is Wednesday, February 15th. Junior is interested in submitting an application for boys' state or girls' state. Please remember that applications for this event are due by the end of the day on Friday, March 3rd. Applications can be turned into Ms. Shell or Shiel in the counseling office. If you're, if you're a junior that was unable to attend the boys' and girls' state meeting or would like more information about this opportunity, please contact Ms. Shell at carry.shell at ahschools.us. Anoka After Dark, our knowledgeable team, took 16th at the sub-regional competition and successfully completed their season. It was an excellent season and each person contributed significant wins. Registration for spring, spring sports is happening right now. An updated for, sports physical must be on file so you can register. Any questions? See Ms. Spitzka or Mr. Witz in the activity office. Congratulations to this week's Senior Youth Salute re recipients, Layla Alm and Marcus Hoven. Stop by the, the glass cases near the cafeteria to read more about their accomplishments and community involvement. Attention all sen seniors who are interested in graduation and senior honors assembly. Sign-ups will be from March 21st to March 24th in the main office. A speech should be around five minutes in length, be school positive, in tone, and as authentic to the speaker as humanly possible. More information will be sent out in the coming weeks, but start writing now for your gra graduation speech. Graduation will be here before you know it. It's time to check in on the weather. For that, here's Scott in, in the Weather Center. Thanks, anchors. I'm Elizabeth, by the way. We had over half an inch of rain yesterday and some slushy snow this morning, but accumulation was basically nothing. Now the concern is what we, what we in the weather world call a fast freeze and temperature will plummet throughout the day. Wind gusts could get as high as 35 miles per hour and wind chills could drop below zero. It will stay cold for a few days before warming back up for the weekend. That's your weather, I'm Elizabeth, now back to our anchors. Thanks, Scott. The guys were back out roaming the halls yesterday pl playing the latest new game for the, from TV7. One dollar trivia. Check this out. Yeah! What's up, y'all, man? So today we got some random trivia for you guys. We went out in the hallways. We asked students if they could answer some questions for us. And if they got it right, we gave them a dollar. A real dollar. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who performed for a dollar? Who performed in the 2016 Super Bowl halftime? 2016? Yep. It's one of the artists you listen to, I think. Usher? No. Eminem. Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Yo, damn it. <laughs> All right, for a dollar, where does the nucleus reside in a cell? Center of it. That's all you, man. For a dollar, what year does slavery end? Huh? Oh my gosh, hold on. Was this? Huh? It was 18. Gosh. I'm gonna say 1864? 1865. Oh, you were one off. But you don't get a dollar though. For a dollar, what's the quadratic formula? Quadratic formula? Y, y equals mx plus v? Wait, no. It's the long one, right? It was like. Do you have to like the, the, like the full. Uh, what? The bit, like, bro. Hey, what's your final answer, man? Cut to the chat. Why was MX was not getting this dollar? All right. For a dollar, what's the world's longest undefended border? Thanks for that, guys. I'm sure all those dollars will go to a worthy cause. In other news, a quick shout out to Enzo Lahaz Kalasara for testifying at the Capitol in support of youth interventions programs. Enzo represented the voice of many students at our school within the community. Great job. Time to check in with sports and activities. With that, here's Malachi. Thanks, anchors. Boys basketball is back on the floor tonight in what we are calling Staff Appreciation Night. The guys take on Centennial at 7. It's a TV game, and Anderson's pleasing baritone will be heard. Girls basketball is also back on the floor tonight when they go on the road to Centennial. Go out and support them in this Pavodio? Something like that. Road game. They are 14 and 8 on the season. The speech team is getting set for a Saturday tourney at Forest Lake. They will be one of the 25 plus schools in attendance in one of the oldest speech tournaments in the state. Hey. Spring sports 
are registering, as you heard earlier, in the newscast, and some of the teams are planning some preseason activities pretty soon. Reach out to Coach if you have any questions. Well, anyways, that's your look at sports. You know who I am. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Malachi. Remember, if you missed anything, be sure to subscribe to Anoka TV News Channel on YouTube. Today's lunch is chicken chili crispitos with queso sauce. Before we go, Logan, I'll let you decide what we celebrate. National Wisconsin Day or National Single Awareness Day? Mm, I was going with, let's go with Wisconsin. I like cheese. That's the news for Scott. I'm Logan. You stay classy, Anoka.